Hey, how's it going? My name is Juan. I just want to create a quick video showing you how I set up my PHP Storm environment for testing. It's been pretty good to me. It's easy to set up. It's quick. Um, but I did run into an issue today that's bugged me for quite a while, about two or three hours. And I finally figured out what it was and how to fix it and how to avoid it. So I just thought I'll show you this quick video. So let's get started. So this is a brand new installation of Laravel. And first thing I'm going to do is command comma to go to my preferences. And I'll type in PHP unit in the search bar. And I'm going to use, so I'm going to click PHP unit down here under language and frameworks. And I'm going to use composer auto loader. I'm going to click this uh, icon to get a directory and we're going to P storm testing. And we are going to open up vendor and choose the auto load .php file. Okay, apply and okay. So that part, um, that was step one. All right, so next thing we wanna do is we wanna hit PHP unit at XML. We wanna add a few more variables. So we wanna add DB connection. And that's going to be SQLite and DB and then DB database. And that is gonna be colon, memory colon. So that's gonna simply set up a SQLite database in memory when we run these um, tests. So if we go ahead and go to our PHP unit XML file, right click it and run the XML file, we're gonna get this error um, that we don't have an interpreter. So go ahead and hit fix, choose the interpreter, hit apply, okay and run. So we ran these two tests, example test feature and unit. So that's our test environment set up. Now let me go ahead and show you one of the issues that I ran into. So the issue that I was, that I ran into is, so I have my database set up for, um, you know, some static, con some static data that I wanted to test with, um, and it kept getting deleted. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these migrations and we don't have access to the database, let's go ahead and I'm using Laravel Valet and I got a PStorm testing database. Root will be the username and no password. Let's run these migrations again. Got that set up. Refresh, we got these. So let's go ahead and art and tinker, um, PHP arts and tinker. And we are simply going to run the default user factory And let's create 50 users. Okay, so now we have 50 users. Refresh, they all are here. So let's go ahead and try to run this test again. Hit right, run the PHP unit, and it ran the test, no problem. Database is still fine. I have a shortcut set up for Command T, run the, my, run the test, set up again, no problem at all. So here's the issue. Okay, so I'm just gonna simply create a user using the factory. All right, so I'm gonna run the test again. And we get this no such table. So whenever you're using an in-memory database, you wanna run, you wanna use a trait use database migrations. So that way when we run our test, um, we run migrations in memory and then roll back when we're done. So if we do that again, we get green. Um, we're never really using this factory, but all we're simply doing is running the migration. All right, so again, ran fine, database should be fine. So the problem was not trying to run a single test. So if I right click in this file and hit run example test, it ran the test. But now if I go back to my database and refresh, everything's gone and wiped it out. So this is why. All right, so I got to run my migrations again. Go back to Tinker and load 50 more users. Okay, we got our 50 users back. So this is how to fix that problem. So when we use this, so when, so when we right click the PHP unit and run that XML file, this configuration, we are loading that XML file for our configuration when we run the test. But when we run the single test, we have no configuration. So that is what's blowing away our database. In order to fix that, go back to your preferences under PHP unit. You wanna choose a default configuration file. You're gonna choose this. So the file you're gonna choose is the XML file that we set up 
PHP in our .xml file, which is within our project. PStorm, hit OK, apply. So one last time, I'm going to have to run my migrations, go back into Tinker, and create 50 more. Now we're here. So now that we have a default configuration file, we can run this file. No issues. We can run this PHP XML file. No issues. So that's just a quick video how I set up PHP unit in Laravel within PHP Storm. And um, the one issue that I found and I finally got it fixed. So thanks for watching.